So this is Cincinnati, Queen City, known less romantically in the 19th century as Porcopolis. It was big in pigs. Since 1868, home to the oldest team in Major League Baseball, and since 1837, home to the Procter and Gamble Company. William Procter and James Gamble, two young immigrants, opened a business. Procter and Gamble Soap and Candle Makers on the corner of 6th and Main Street. That's just one block away from the twin towers of today's central offices. From these modest beginnings, Procter and Gamble has grown to annual sales of $70 billion marketing over 200 brands in almost every country on the planet. But it isn't the size of P&G that interests us as marketers. It is how P&G marketing fits into the context of marketing's history. How Procter & Gamble took a craft, which hitherto had been purely intuitive, labeled it, refined it, developed it, sophisticated it, and practiced it with a method and purpose unmatched by any other company anywhere on earth. P&G has a strong claim to have invented modern marketing. Even the word as we understand it now, university lecturer Ralph Starr Butler used the word marketing to describe his experiences at P&G in his textbook Marketing Methods, published in 1915, the first time marketing in a modern sense appears in print. In 1879, P&G became one of the first businesses to create value around a carefully chosen brand name for a new mass market product. Modern brand management was considered about 1880 with the launch of P&G's Ivory Soap and an advertising slogan which lasted over a century, 99 and 44 100% pure, it floats. Developing the concept of managing brands as discrete standalone business, in 1931 P&G appointed the world's first brand manager, Neil McElroy, subsequently Secretary of the United States Defense Department, where he incidentally launched the brand NASA, a brand which we all know well. Each of P&G's hundreds of brands across the world still has a brand manager to this day. P&G invented market research in 1926, appointing Paul Doc Smelzer as manager of the world's first marketing research department, which by retirement he had built up to some 3,000 researchers. Procter & Gamble has been the world's biggest advertiser for decades. P&G was a pioneer of radio advertising, as they were of TV, and remains so in the field of internet and social media brand advertising. The phrase soap opera comes from the thousands of hours of radio and TV drama produced by P&G to sell their soap brands. In 1999, the editors of Advertising Age, the house magazine of the U.S. advertising and marketing industry, unanimously voted to name marketer of the 20th century the Procter & Gamble Company just 160 years after its startup on the banks of the Ohio. The Ohio River has seen a modest 19th century startup become the acknowledged university of modern marketing. The wise marketer observes P&G closely, and in our course we will do so. But what of marketing before P&G? In the next class we will ride back in time and visit early marketing in the cave. <laughs>